Here's a little video about the Qlist types innovation. I'm going to quickly go through which ones they are. They're all listed across the top here, and we'll just go by them, go through them one by one. So first off, the standard Qlist, straightforward, up and down Qlist with a kind of next, next, next mentality, the one you'll see in most Qlists, and from with it, we can play back a variety of cues at the same time, and we can nest and do other things like that. Timed Qlist is pretty similar to the standard cue list in the sense that we can go up and down and we can nest cues if we want to. But the interesting thing about the timed cue list is that it's got its own time code. So at any point in time, I can play the timed cue list. It starts the time going, and we can see here on each cue that I've got a go time. And that go time refers to the time code of the timed cue list. So I can start to time events one after each other within their own little uh, section or, or their own timed cue list. So I can manually start this cue list. I can then pause it and unpause it and run it again, but very nicely as well, I can also chase it. If I just pop into cue list properties here, I can show in my uh, chasing area that I can chase it and I can set it to either a showtime or LTCs or MTC inputs. And at that point, it's now chasing uh, a time code. So and just to see, I can go into the queue properties of this last queue, and rather than a manual go time, I'll type in 09332000. Happy, and there we go. And nicely, even this is gone when it's already played. Hockey's queue lists are for random access of sounds, sound effects, bits of music, uh, in a cart player style scenario. So you could see this in a broadcast application, but also very equally in a theater application where you might have a next, next, next scenario with your standard or timed queue lists. But with a hotkeys, it allows you uh, the quick access to a laugh or a spot effect that you might need uh, at, at a given point within a scene. Um, and very easily, it works with a single click so that you can very easily use a touch screen or a hardware controller to, to fire and stop these cues. Custom cue lists are quite a bit like hotkeys cue lists in the sense that I click once and it plays. But as you can see, I can design this shape and size of each one of these to be uh, appealing to the eye, but also descriptive for what it is. So Custom cue lists are used uh, in a lot of installation work and AV work where uh, a user interface needs to be built to allow for uh, sort of non-operator uh, interaction with the Ovation system. Next is the browser list. And the browser list is quite nice in the sense that it, it, it's, it's, a, it's a Windows Explorer window with, with innovation. And the nice thing about this is it allows me to then uh, listen to listen to cues before I place them in a cue list. And I can actually audition them through an audition bus rather than play them out of my, my, my normal outputs as well, which is nice. And finally, the hot browser is exactly like the browser, except that, again, it's set up for touchscreen access. Uh, quite a bit of Ovation is actually set up for touchscreen access. So rather than double clicking for playback and for moving through uh, the, the parent files and things, it's a single button click. Uh, which makes life easier when you're when you're using a touch screen. So there you go. There's the different types of cue lists and their applications. Uh, watch the other videos for the rest of the information. Thanks very much.